di sela-sela kesibukannya berkunjung ke Indonesia untuk meresmikan pabrik Coca-Cola di Cikadokan, Bekasi, Jawa Barat, dan bertemu dengan Presiden Jokowi, CEO The Coca-Cola Company, Muhtar Kent, bersedia diwawancari Kompas secara eksklusif di Hotel Dharma Wangsa pada Rabu lalu. Muhtar bercerita banyak tentang investasi Coca-Cola untuk menghadapi pasar Indonesia dan isu kesehatan pada industri makanan dan minuman. Well, our product is already accepted. Our brands are already accepted by the market. We have a a great business with our sparkling brands, Coca-Cola, Fanta, Sprite, but also with our juice brands, yeah. uh, with our tea brands, okay. with our dairy brands, uh, Nutriboost. Uh, we have we are playing in multiple categories, mm -hmm. and so we feel that uh, our brands are already accepted, but we have to improve our distribution. We have to improve our route to market. Mm. We have to improve our support of customers, uh, not in the cities, but especially outside of the cities. Mm. And so we feel that um, today, today, in 2015, the Indonesian consumers are already inviting our brands into their lives more than five billion times a year here. Yeah. But compared to other countries in the world, that is still a very low per capita. Mm. So as, and we believe also that based on the progressive policies of Indonesia in the next five years, Indonesia will be one of the biggest creators of middle class in the world. Mm. Uh, prevention of poverty and middle class creation. And uh, when middle class grows, the demand for ready-to-drink beverages grow. And we believe, therefore, that uh, in the next five years, Indonesia is going to brand Indonesia. Brand Indonesia is going to improve significantly in the world. Yeah. I Indonesia will become a much more talked about country emerging country in the world. Problem in another country. There's, be, be sure of one thing. <laughs> uh, there's problems everywhere. <laughs> be sure of that. Yeah. Uh, problems are not uh, exclusive to one country or another region. Yeah. And so we have good managers like Mr. Martin Gill yeah. and uh, Mr. Kadir Gundus uh, who manages our bottling operations here, that's why they're here to uh, solve those problems. It's very simple. Um, obesity is a very complex issue. Mm. It is not related to one product or one category mm. or one ingredient. Mm. It is a complex multi-societal issue. Yeah. It is related to energy balance. Uh, and the lack of understanding of the energy balance in, in people. I think that is uh, the same in every country, not only in Indonesia or America or in Ireland or Switzerland or in Mexico, the same in every country. It is more fun to consume calories than burn calories. Yeah. People have a better time, uh, <laughs> feel better, and they have more fun when they consume calories than when they burn calories. Yeah. And we have to create a multi-stakeholder alliance. Government cannot do this alone. Yeah. Business, government, and NGOs have to get, uh, serious NGOs have to come together yeah. in what I call the golden triangle uh, to, uh, to um, provide intelligent solutions and practical solutions to this matter.